My sister dumped her trading company boyfriend and stole my fiancé from me. It's because she found out my fiancé was working in a hospital. Thanks for handing over the doctor's boyfriend. My sister unabashedly brags about marrying my ex-boyfriend. But she's got one thing wrong. My ex-boyfriend is not a doctor at all. When I tell her the truth, what kind of face will she make? My name is Alice. I have a younger sister named Anna who is one year younger than me. Anna is not on bad term with me. But since she was young, she's always competed with me. She's not satisfied unless she's superior in whatever she does. Sis, did you get your test back today? Yeah, I just got my math test back. Let me see. Oh, as expected, I did better this time too. Knowing she scored higher on the test, she would aggressively show off to our parents. Often, our parents would praise Anna, who is more appealing than I, who remains silent. When we got to junior high school, Anna joined the same badminton team as me. Sis, let's have a match. With her victory over me, who was a senior by one year, Anna started getting attention in the team. Whether at school or home, it was always my sister who was fussed over by others. Whenever I tried to do something, she would do the same and draw even more attention than me. But still, I didn't dislike my sister. I thought her competitive spirit was cute, and it wasn't bad to see her shine. But now I realize that my attitude must have seemed arrogant to her. Anna began to harbor something like hostility toward me. I was pretty good at both academics and sports, but I'm not the type to show it off like Anna. So I didn't stand out much at school. On the other hand, Anna was always the center of attention in class. And often received confessions from boys. You know, a boy from your class confessed his feelings for me too. Despite being closer to you, he chose me, which means I'm more attractive, right? Anna probably thought she could establish her superiority over me by being popular with boys. She behaved suggestively towards noticeable older boys and started dating several of them. Occasionally, she would bring her boyfriends home as if to show off to me. Sorry for showing off, sis. Anna was very affectionate with her boyfriends at home as if to show off to me. However, I'm the type who prefers to date one person for a long time. So I didn't particularly envy my sister, who frequently changed boyfriends. Noticing this, Anna began to brag more about the quality of her boyfriends than the number. Sis, my current boyfriend is a student at K University. I also got a confession from a guy at W University, so I had a hard time deciding. Even during her university days, Anna dated several boyfriends. After graduating and getting a job, she began to brag about her boyfriend's workplaces instead of their educational backgrounds. Sis, my current boyfriend works at a listed company. From now on, a man who can work is the best, isn't he? Eventually, she said, I have someone I want to marry, and introduced her boyfriend to the family. His name is Jacob, he's an elite working at a trading company. He said it's okay for me to quit my job and be a homemaker after we get married. Jacob, one year older than Anna, seemed to have a calm personality, listening to Anna's talk with a smile. I'm sorry that I'm going to get married before you, sis. If I wait for your wedding, I might become a grandma. Hearing this, our mom asked in surprise. Oh? Didn't Alice also have a boyfriend she was dating? Ah, uh, yeah. I hadn't told Anna because I didn't want her to compete, but actually. I also have a boyfriend I plan to marry. Upon hearing this, Anna began to ask in detail, who is he? Do you have a photo? What does he do? How much is his annual income? This is exactly why I didn't want to tell Anna. Seeing me hesitating, my sister suggested a double date. Let's go out for dinner with Jacob and me, and you and your boyfriend. That would be okay, right? I wasn't very eager, but if I agreed this time, my sister would be satisfied. So, I asked my boyfriend Mike to join the double date. On the day of the double date, 
Anna asked Mike as soon as she met him. Where do you work, Mike? My boyfriend works at a trading company. Me? I work at a hospital. What? A hospital? The moment Mike mentioned he worked at a hospital, Anna's face changed color. Why didn't you tell me your boyfriend is a doctor? I would have preferred a doctor boyfriend than a businessman. With that, Anna began questioning Mike, not even waiting for my response. Mike, which university did you graduate from? Well, it's a specialized field, so I'd rather keep the name of the school to myself. You're so modest. Were your parents wealthy from the beginning? My income now is nowhere close to what my dad makes. Your father must have been an excellent man too. Ignoring her own boyfriend, Anna was talking non-stop with Mike. As Anna and Mike chatted away, Jacob and I slowly enjoyed our drinks and had a casual conversation. If it weren't a mature and calm man like him, Jacob would have likely shouted at Anna and Mike. Only a person as kind as him could handle being Anna's boyfriend. But with this, Anna should be satisfied. I had even changed our planned movie date to the last day of the following week for this double date. For the next date, I will listen what Mike want to do. However, the following week, he suddenly called to cancel. Alice, about tomorrow's date. I can't make it because of work. Really? I'm sorry, I made you reschedule because of me. With no choice, we decided to spend the weekend separately. With my sudden free time, I thought I might as well go to the movie. As I was heading to the movie theater alone, I heard a voice calling me from behind. Alice. I turned around, and there was Anna's boyfriend. Oh, Jacob. Are you also here for this movie? What a coincidence. Anna suddenly had to work and canceled our date. So we're in the same situation. I was supposed to come here with my boyfriend. But he had to cancel because of a sudden work commitment. Jacob said he had heard about this movie through Anna and had become interested in it. Did Anna also know about this movie? I had a bad feeling. With anxiety gnawing at me, I entered the movie theater. Only to regret that my premonitions were right. Because there, I saw Anna and Mike, arm in arm, looking like they were having a good time. Unable to hide my confusion, I approached my sister. Anna, Mike, what on earth is going on? Contrasting with Mike, who looked awkward, Anna appeared rather smug. Can't you tell by looking? I've decided to date Mike. Well, what are you talking about? Mike is my boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend, right. Mike seems to have more fun with me than with you. That's. But Anna, you have Jacob. Looking at Jacob standing next to me, he seemed lost for words, perhaps shocked. Anna glanced at him and dismissively responded. That's convenient. Jacob, let's break up. I've come to like Mike more than you. At my sister's words, Jacob's eyes widened. Are you serious? Of course, being a corporate wife isn't bad, but being a doctor's wife is far more attractive. Anna's words were too abrupt and I couldn't process them. She snatched my boyfriend, even abruptly cutting off her own boyfriend. Even for me, this act of my sister's was too disgusting to overlook. Without any shame, Anna left arm in arm with Mike, disappearing from our sight. My sister, who had not a shred of ethics, was too much to bear. In response to her selfishness, I decided to distance myself from Anna. From then on, I stopped contacting Anna. The next time she called my cell phone was half a year later. Oh, sis, I got married. Married, you can't mean. Yes, with Mike. She had the nerve to report to me about her marriage to the boyfriend she had stolen from me. She continued happily. You're such a plain woman like Alice. There's no way you could be Mike's wife, right? That's why I decided to take him away from you. In this half year, I had completely gotten over Mike. After all, he was the kind of man who would swing toward my sister Anna while dating me. There's no lingering attachment to such a man. 
I replied calmly. Oh, you're married. So you're saying all the debts have been paid off? Debt? What do you mean? Mike didn't tell you anything? What had been bothering me during my relationship with Mike was his gambling addiction. Mike had a thing for sports betting and casino, and once he got into it, he couldn't stop. He had put off marrying me until he paid off his gambling debts. I? I didn't know. It seems that Mike hadn't told Anna about his gambling habit and debt. My sister was momentarily lost for words, but she seemed to quickly recover. Well, Mike will be able to pay off his debts in no time. After all, he's a doctor. He should be earning more than Jacob, who works for a trading company. Thanks for giving up your doctor boyfriend, Alice. I thought so, but it seems Anna misunderstood. I decided to tell my sister the truth. Mike isn't a doctor, he's unemployed. Dot. What? But Mike himself said he works in a hospital. Works in a hospital, huh? Well, he was working as a cleaner at the time. So he was going in and out of hospitals. It's all in how you say it. That can't be true. But he came from a wealthy family and graduated from a good university, didn't he? Mike graduated from a community college. So when you asked about his university, he couldn't give a clear answer, could he? Mike's family is just an ordinary businessman's family, as far as I know. It's true that your father-in-law probably earns more than part-time worker Mike. This time Anna was really speechless. That makes sense. She switched from Jacob to Mike because of the difference in salary. But the man she switched to was just a part-timer who can't compare to a trading company. After hanging up the phone with me, Anna seemed to have confronted Mike. He admitted that what he was going out for every day wasn't work, but casino. It doesn't stop there. He also confessed that he arbitrarily spent all her savings. Anna, in despair, turned to our parents to borrow money, but our parents have already retired and could handle anything. Next, Anna turned to her ex-boyfriend, Jacob. I, who was at Jacob's house, answered Anna's call. Assis, why are you at Jacob's house? I've been dating him since then. Upon hearing this, Anna erupted in rage like wildfire. What? You're dating my ex? What kind of nerve do you have, you traitor? Now it was my turn to snap. The one who started this mess was you. I only started dating Jacob. Because you dumped him. Stealing your sister's boyfriend is the real nerve. At my outburst, Jacob took over the call. He turned on the speaker so I could hear the conversation too. From the other side of the phone, I could hear Anna's begging voice. Uh, Jacob, long time no see. How have you been? Yeah, I'm finally feeling better. Alice cheered me up when I was down and couldn't get myself to do anything after you left me half a year ago. So it's true that you're dating my sister. She's exploiting your vulnerability. She's so sneaky. Jacob, you're too good for her. To Anna's rant, Jacob replied coldly. Alice is an amazing woman. She's incomparable to you. I could practically see my sister stomping her feet in frustration on the other end of the phone. What? What? You're saying I'm inferior to my sister. You know, my sister has always been inferior to me in everything, from studies to sports. If that's true, then it must mean that Alice's character is superior to yours. No way. Ever since our student days, I've always been more popular. I had more boyfriends and friends than she ever did. Quantity of boyfriends is not something to be proud of. It's far more admirable for a woman to engage deeply with one person rather than switching boyfriends often. That, that's just an excuse for women who don't get attention. Jacob, you're just settling for my sister because I dumped you, right? I can come back to you if you want. I refuse. I can't imagine marrying a woman who only sees her partner for their title. It's very natural to know about the partner before going to get married, right? 
What you wanted to know was just my annual income, right? Even if we were to get married, as soon as a better deal came along, you'd be out the door. That's not true. Up, uh, who's talking? That's exactly what you did during our double date, wasn't it? That that time was. At Anna's loss for words, Jacob said, looking at me. Even when Alice found out her boyfriend had a debt, she didn't abandon him. She was trying to think about how to pay back the debt by the time of marriage and how to cure his gambling addiction together. On top of that, when her boyfriend betrayed her so easily, she quietly stepped aside without uttering a word of resentment. Seeing her so different from you, I was drawn to her more and more. No way. There's no way you chose my sister over me. To me, the person who used to think about marrying you seems unimaginable. I'm so glad I realized it before marrying you. Wait, you can't brag to your friends about marrying someone as plain as my sister, can you? If you're getting married, I'm the better. Are you an idiot? I don't get married to show off to others. I'm marrying her because I want to spend my life with her. And the person I choose as my partner will never be you. It's Alice. Jacob said that and hung up the phone. Then he turned to me. Alice, it was like I've already proposed what I said earlier on phone, but let me ask you again. Will you marry me? I gladly accepted Jacob's proposal. Yes, if you'll have me. My married life with Jacob afterward was smooth sailing. He told me I could quit my job if I wanted, but unlike Anna, I like to work. I chose to continue working because I enjoy my current job. When I was dating Mike, I was worried if he would help with the household chores if we both worked. But Jacob proactively does the housework saying, we're both working, after all. Now, I truly believe that marrying him was the right choice. On the other hand, Anna is apparently still with Mike, unable to break up. Mike's gambling addiction is as bad as ever. He occasionally works part-time, but he spends all his earnings on gambling the same day. Anna seems to be working day and night to earn living expenses for Mike's share. It's a life completely opposite of the married life she imagined. My sister, who was obsessed with having a better life than me. It seems that there's a world of difference between her and me now. However, all of this is my sister's own doing. Her current situation is a result of betraying me. The person who probably regrets this fact the most would be Anna herself.